Warning, if you are a lady, a woman, a girl who wants to do intermittent fasting, you need to watch this video because I've got something very important you need to know about. My name is Uriel Kim, in case you don't know me, I'm a New York Times bestselling author, renowned holistic and holistic nutritionist and fitness expert, and I'm here to make your life healthier, fitter, and more prosperous. So here, what I wanna share with you is a really big mistake you need to avoid, especially if you're a woman, as it pertains to intermittent fasting. And honestly, we're gonna answer the question, is it even safe for women to do? So just in case you're not familiar with what intermittent fasting is, it's not prolonged starvation. It's not no eating for 30 days. It's not even no eating for three days. It's eating no food for roughly 16 to 24 hours. And just as a blanket statement, the vast majority of research shows zero detrimental effects on our metabolism, on any kind of health markers for most humans. The flip side is that it has absolutely tremendous health benefits from fat loss to regulating hormones more effectively to really um, turbocharging the metabolism and helping it kind of come back to life. Everything you can think of, fasting can have a helping hand in really bringing back to normal function. Now with that said, I need to have a very strong disclaimer here because if you're a woman, most of the research on intermittent fasting has been done using what's known as an alternating protocol, which basically means that what they've done is they've studied women and they said, okay, one day you eat, one day you don't. One day you eat, one day you don't. So essentially on a weekly basis, these women were not eating for three or four days out of seven. So in a lot of the women's studies, that show some kind of detrimental effects, most pertinently on the thyroid, and I'll share with you why that happens, we have to understand that the studies that have been done have been done at a very extreme protocol, which is not eating half the time, which is not something I would ever recommend even for healthy, overweight men, okay? So what you wanna think about here is what I would prescribe for almost all humans is one day of fasting per week. And the easiest way to do this is start your fast at night. So you have dinner, let's say about two hours later, you're, you're kind of digested. Now you start your fast. Let's say it's eight o'clock. The next morning you wake up, it's 8 a.m. And that's already 12 hours. The research shows that about 16 hours is where the kind of real benefits start to kick in. And if you can make it to 24, even awesome, even more awesome. So 16 to 24 hours is kind of that sweet spot. So if you're a woman and you're worried about depressing your thyroid or your metabolism because intermittent fasting you may have heard is not good for women, you need to be aware why people are saying that. And the reason people are saying that it's not safe for women is because the research has been done with very extreme protocols, which again is having women not eat anything 50% of the time, which is extreme. What I'm saying on the flip side and what I've been shown uh, numerous times, hundreds of different case studies that we have with our various protocols, is that even if you're a woman, overweight, slender, doesn't matter, one day of fasting per week has zero detrimental impact on your body and has tremendous health improvements. So again, if you're a woman searching the web looking for, you know, is intermittent fasting good for me? Is it dangerous? Should I be doing this? The only time I don't really recommend intermittent fasting is in two cases is one, if you have extreme adrenal fatigue, and again, you would have obviously that hopefully tested with a naturopathic doctor and knowing that. Uh, second would be full on hypothyroidism. So if your thyroid is already compromised, and whether it's Hashimoto's or just really, um, you know, some other um, culprit behind hypothyroidism, I usually wouldn't recommend intermittent fasting at the 16 to 24 hour mark for those types of people, okay? But if you're a generally healthy woman, when I say healthy, I mean, you might be 150 pounds overweight, but as long as you don't have like metabolic burnouts where your body needs those calories coming in just to function properly, then you should be fine doing a one day fast. Now, if you need help doing this, because again, you don't wanna do this incorrectly, because a lot of people think that fasting is gonna cause your body to go into what people call starvation mode which is where there's no food coming in and your body freaks out. And so what it does is it says, hold on, this is, this, this is the way our brain is wired, going back 
hundreds of thousands of years to when we first walked the earth. It's saying, hold on, I'm not too sure when my next meal is coming. I don't even know if I'm gonna have a meal. Therefore, my sole purpose is survival. So in order for me to survive one more day, one more week, I need to slow things down and conserve energy. So the metabolism slows down, thyroid function slows down, and guess what happens with fat loss? Well, it doesn't happen. Your body's gonna conserve fat because it's a very, very nutrient and energy-rich substance. So if that's the case, you're not gonna burn fat. And that's known as a starvation mode, you know, for layman's terms. So we're not going into that, that, that we're not getting there because we're just doing this for 16 to 24 hours, which is not enough time to really tap into that. If you're doing this for a week, no food, 30 days, no food, different scenario. But again, if you're a woman looking to do intermittent fasting, the key is to do this for no more than one day per week at a time. Now, if you want help with this, I've got an amazing resource called the Intermittent Fasting Cheat Sheet. You can get it absolutely free if you click on this video or the link just below it. And in that resource, you're gonna get the three ways I recommend doing intermittent fasting. And the cool thing is you can pick one of the three based on what's gonna work for your lifestyle and schedule. And I'm also gonna walk you through the answers to the 19 most commonly asked questions people have asked me for years when it comes to intermittent fasting. So instead of you having to search all over the web for answers to these questions, I guarantee whatever question you're thinking about is answered in this document. So you can have it absolutely free. That's my way of hooking you up for watching this video and being somebody who's interested in taking your health to the next level. And once again, just click on the link below or on this video to download that right now. Remember to subscribe to the channel because I've got hundreds of other amazing videos to help you live a healthier, fitter, and more prosperous life and many more to come. So thanks for joining me once again. Uriel came here from the backyard, signing off.